Let's do it. What's up everyone? Welcome back to Rivera's Urban Homestead. Today is project day. I've been thinking about doing this project for quite some time now. Um, we have done it before, a different version that didn't really work. I'll show you that one first and then we'll get to the hopefully new and improved idea I have. But first of all, before we get into that, let's go feed these wild birds some food. I haven't been buying bird seed for the bird feeders in quite some time just because I'm trying to starve out the rats as much as possible so I don't get too many attracted here. And this project today does have something to do with rodents, so we'll get to it in a minute. But first, let's go feed the birds. All right guys, so let me show you the first version of what we're making today. I made these about, I don't know, a year and a half ago or so, but the problem was the rodents can get in them at night, so it kind of defeated the purpose. So let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here was my first version, the PVC pipe going up and the whole, a little T connector with pieces that I cut out. And what it is, is a chicken feeder. So what it does, you fill this whole pole, you fill this up with feed, and it gravity feeds right down. The chickens eat out of it, but I can't cover them at night, so the rodents just free for all. So we're gonna make new chicken feeders that I can cap at night. Feed will not be accessible. I don't have to keep taking the feed boxes in and out, in and out. It'll just be a lot easier and a lot more convenient. So let's go ahead and make them. Okay, so after standing at Lowe's and just staring at all the different pieces, this is kind of what I came up with. So, take one of these elbows here, I think this is a 90 degree elbow. You take one of these littler elbows and you put it like that. Okay, so now the big pipe will come here. This will be where the big pipe comes in. The feed will go into there, and the chickens will eat out of there. And then at night, all I have to do is put the cap on, and that'll keep the feed not accessible. And the top of the pipe has another cap, so everything will be capped off. So we'll see how it works. Hopefully, they work good. First thing I got to do is cut this in half because I'm making two. Hopefully I can cut it fairly easy with my reciprocating saw. That was easy enough. All right, let's put them together and see how they look. Take this guy. That's nice and solid. Then you need the coupler. Whoop. Hold on. Put that together. Take your coupler. Put that on. Your pipe. That in. Just like that. And there we go. Looks like a big J. And then at night, we can just come in with the cap. Cap it off. We're good to go. The top will have a cap as well. The only reason I bought the glue is, you see this elbow? It has this little knob right here that's kind of sticking out. When I put the coupler on, it hits it, so it's not getting in there tight. So we're going to glue that portion together. Everything else I don't have to glue though, so let me do that right now. Actually, what I'm going to do is go try and shave this off with one of my tools. I'll be right back. Okay, so that was super easy. It's totally gone now. The collar fits. It's still kind of loose. I think this might fall out when the feed is in there with the weight. So we're gonna still glue this section, this collar on to this elbow. And all I used was like this wood file and just filed that piece right off. Okay, so I'm just going to, like I said, glue the coupler to the elbow. That's pretty much all I need to do. 
you might want to use this glue outside. It's real nasty. To, it's real nasty to smell. There we go. We'll let them dry for a little bit, and then we'll go attach them to the fence and fill them up and see how they look. I'm hoping there's enough feed that gets down in here from the weight that they can reach it. So, and guys, I bought the big four-inch pipe. There's different size pipes you can use. If you have a smaller t uh, cage or just a couple of birds, you can get away with a smaller one. I have quite a few birds right now, so I need two of these. That'll keep that feed probably going for a good week, I would imagine, or more. All right, let's zip tie one of these bad boys onto the fence. How high up should we put it, girls? That's a good height, right? We can set it like on the cinder block. Would you hush? All right, there we go. Let's fill it up with feed and see how it looks. Whoa. <laughs> it's shot right out the bottom. I better put the cap on first. Let's try that again. Cap on. Okay, so it held, it held about three of these containers. This says it's about two pounds when it's full of, what was it, coffee. So it holds, uh, what, six pounds of feed maybe, I'd say. Now let's open the bottom cap and see how it works. You ready, Blue? Perfect. Look at that. That's perfect. It sits in there like a little bowl. They have access to the feed now, and at night all I have to do is put that cap on. Yup, look at that, already using it. That is amazingly awesome. Hi. Chicken approved already, guys. Look at that. So I got one feeder there, totally full now, and it does show quite a bit of food, so it'll be easy access. And we got the other one over there. So now we got two nice feeders. I'm going to probably retire this one and just put it away because we don't need it anymore. So yeah, that was fun. Nice little project. And now I can cap them at night. I don't have to take them out, put them in the little feed bin anymore. I could just use those feeders. So there you go guys, a nice little idea for some chicken feeders that you can cap easily. Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and we'll see you next time.